Hello, time for the open source crystal formula. If you can't afford a few cents to buy a finished product on eBay, you can make your own tweak. It will only take a few thousand hours and then it is finished. So I will tell you the process. The first stage is finding the correct materials for your crystal formula. And that involves going to the forest and finding some gravel. And that is, uh, you find a rock formation with those loose pieces of different sizes. You, you use uh, boxes and carry those, uh, that gravel home to you. Okay, and here my dog found a big rock. You don't want those big rocks, you want to have small grain size, but not too small. And I will talk more about that later. But first, find the gravel. Let's go. Let's go, my dog is addicted to big rocks. Let's find the gravel. Okay, let's go to the base of the mountain, find some gravel. And then you put all the gravel in a box. Uh, you use your dog to help you carry, of course, or maybe a donkey or something else that you have in your country. I use my dog with a backpack. And I have a, I have a backpack of my own. Okay, let's go find a place of the gravel. Here you can see, usually here at the base of the mountain you can see some smaller pieces of gravel you can pick up here is a good look at look at that there's some good gravel here that you can get like there you can scoop up a little of that put it in your box let's go find more more gravel And uh, here, now you can just take a spoon, dig up, put it in your box. I already did that with my dog, it is full. Okay, and uh, then what you do is you need to sift all that gravel. So, with this trip, I'm carrying five boxes of. Uh, five two liter boxes of the gravel and when I come home I'm going to sift through everything and when I'm finished I will have a handful of uh, the correct size of uh, stones in my hand it needs to be the correct size and you see here that all of these are the are different sizes I need to sift I need to use two sieves to get the correct size. So I use many buckets. And uh, you want to have um, almost this kind of size. Maybe a little bit smaller than this. That kind of size is what you have, want to have left after you have sifted through all of, all of that gravel. Okay. And when that is finished, you need to sort them based on the color of the of the sand, of the particles. Okay, that's the second step. Step sorting the colors of each uh, type of uh, stone. Because you see here, every stone is of a different color. You want to sort them. And when you're finished, you will have uh, in my with my trip here to the mountain here I'm getting about uh, like a Ziploc, small Ziploc bag worth of uh, uh, the same color rock okay and then comes the you need to add them together now first you need to listen to each uh, rock separately because every country 
has a different uh, type of rock that is uh, native to that country and here in Sweden this is how it looks like with the gravel on this mountain I'm harvesting from and you want to sort every color and then the listening process is what you need to go through many hours of listening and you need you want to put every every same same color together always put the same color stones together of the exact same size that you have sifted uh, through the gravel and the leftovers of the of the gravel like these uh, the two big sizes you throw them on your yard and the small small grain sizes which also sifted away these the sandy type the powder type you want to remove it also from your crystal mix because this powder is going to reduce sound quality a lot so it is very critical that you are going to remove the powdery part of the gravel super important and also important to remove the big big size rocks from the gravel because they don't improve sound quality only the medium size is this i'm going to show you the perfect grain grain size here that you want to have in your formula like this one the pink one smaller smaller than this size is what you want to have i will try to find the perfect size here yeah this one oh yeah this is the perfect size this is the perfect size for your crystal formula and you want to sift the gravel and get this this kind of size left in the same bucket that you have and then you want to sort the color sort the color you have different colors of uh, sand left and you want to sort them put them into different you see here everyone is different here oops this is not food for you this is sand and you want to put them in separate ziploc bags and listen to them listen to each bag very important that you have 20 grams each inside every ziploc bag everything needs to be consistent and i found that the 20 grams is perfect for the smallest uh, size ziploc bags and uh, it might be different for you so you need to you need to experiment yourself and find the perfect uh, ziploc bag size with the perfect amount of uh, sand inside okay and th the way you can find if it's the wrong size is if the music becomes boomy then you have too much sand inside inside the ziploc bag if you have too much sand inside the ziploc bag the music will sound boomy and colored and you want to avoid that and if you have too little sand inside the ziploc bag then your then the coloration of the ziploc bag itself is going to take over the sound so you want to find the optimal amount to place inside the ziploc bag okay and then comes the fun the fun part is listening you want to listen at least five hours per day use the same always use the same song to listen to the music to compare the sound because the different uh, albums and different songs they sound different so you, you don't want to compare uh, two different uh, bags of sand using different music you want to use the same always use the same music and i use the same 30 seconds music song for the uh, fine tuning process over half a year so I, I i did nothing else than listen to the same 30 second song five hours per day for half a year that is what you need to go through if you want accuracy and always write down everything in, into your logs and use a scale that is accurate to 0 0.01 grams 
don't use 0 0.1 grams it is not accurate you, you must use 0 0.01 grams okay use get the scale like that and you can find those kinds of scales that go up to 100 grams or 200 grams you don't need more than that because you're going to measure at around the 20 grams uh, which is the perfect uh, amount for the little ziplock bags okay and when you when you make it when you have listened to all of those different types of stones of different colors write it down you, you write it down into your logs i have enough logs that will fill up a library write it down into your logs and write how it sounds like what kind of a flavor each rock has and uh, write down if something sounds wrong if something if something sounds good write it down and then you know the flavor of that rock you know how it sounds like and uh, you can also do the same thing with the bigger size rocks of the same color and you need you need to you need to use a different uh, sieve to sift through the gravel to get the bigger sizes and then you need to also sort sort the rocks and when you compare different sizes against smaller sizes you're going to hear the effect it has so maybe the same colored rock sounded too thin when it was of a smaller grain size and that bigger grain size will have more bass in the music but it will also lack something maybe it doesn't have enough detail than the smaller grain size so you want to uh, combine them in the same mix you want to mix them together to get the best of both but when that happens you're going to get the coloration uh, that comes from the the rock color so you want to use different colors and combine them together to avoid that coloration because if you have a single type of rock even if you use different sizes you are going to get flat sound so you want to use different colors and combine them together and that is something you need to experiment with yourself to find the perfect uh, mix that you maybe you want to combine brighter stones with the darker stones because with the brighter stones you get more clarity and with the darker stones you get the blacker background and you want to combine them uh, with different sizes as well so you need to sift more gravel and find the uh, bigger sizes and place them separately and you don't want to have too much of the big size rocks just a little bit is enough to get that extra boost in in base and definitely avoid the powder the powder form of the rocks that's going to give a noisy sound if you must have that powder form it's better if it's uh, of a darker color and in the past i used black tourmaline powder and black tourmaline it has a electric charge of 0 0.06 milliamps and it, it is going to draw noise to itself so the problem with that is that uh, if you place them into different uh, if you ha have them in different places the noise will be drawn into different directions and if something is pulling on both uh, from both sides what is in the middle will remain still it will not go anywhere so if there's noise in the middle and it is being pulled in opposite directions the noise will stay where it is so it is important that if you use uh, black tourmaline powder you want to have it in a single location put everything in a single location like a sing single point ground 
so all the noise is going to go through going to go to one point instead of trying to go into different uh, points where it will slow down the noise uh, removal process okay if if you must want to go with the powder powder way then you need, you need you need to keep that in mind okay but you want to avoid powder small grains you want to avoid that because you are going to it's going to be really complicated to make something good make good sounding tweaks if you use powders of really small grains so you want to avoid that okay you can make you can easily make it much worse instead of better because it will uh, the small grain size will uh, emphasize the noisy frequencies in the music okay so just avoid that avoid powders find the optimal grain size my dog is tired he doesn't want to carry the rocks the gravel for me anymore i'm i'm going every day to the mountain to get the gravel and uh, the, you, could, you could actually just sift uh, the gravel in the forest but it's going to take a couple of days to to do to go through a few boxes uh, so i rather carry it home with me and because i can use the leftovers uh, for other things in my home and i'm getting just a handful of uh, usable stones of the correct size that i need to sort through uh, okay so what happens after you have sorted all those uh, stones to get the correct size you want to clean them very important that you clean uh, the little tiny rocks you must clean them otherwise you're going to get the noisy sound use water clean them for hours let it uh, you let it soak in water leave it overnight clean even more to, uh, until the water is clean enough for you to drink then you are finished you can't you are not finished until until that moment when you can drink it without feeling any any kind of dust in your mouth it needs to be that super clean super important okay and then you when you handle uh, the rocks you want to you can't put oil from your fingers into the rocks you need to use a sterilized uh, metallic uh, spoon to do that and you want to clean the spoon before every time you touch the stones and you want to do that uh, when you add uh, one ingredient into the mix so just use a spoon don't, don't use your fingers because you're adding oil into the mix and oil is not good for the sound it will sound boomy and uh, blurry so uh, avoid oil at all costs uh, there is a manufacturer that is adding oil into the cable it is, uh, the reason is because it is to compensate for multi-strand which is harsh to begin with multi-strand uh, cables sound very harsh like sandpaper in the ears and the way to compensate for that is by either adding more conductors to make it cable make the cable fatter which uh, makes it boomy to compensate for the harsh sound or add oil which also makes it boomy that compensates for the harsh sound okay but that is always going to reduce detail so you want to avoid that okay and uh, that's why in, in my power cables i always use uh, solid core conductor to avoid that harshness problem 16 gauge solid core is what uh, my best power cables have okay let's talk more about the crystal formula and uh, 
you to be able to get enough crystal formula for a power cable it's going to take uh, a year if you want to if you want to do it yourself okay so you want to get a handful of uh, usable rocks yourself and listen to everyone and uh, blend them together and still when you're finished you're still not going to get as good sound as the very first alien crystal form it's going to sound worse than that but at least you have learned to do things yourself and uh, this the gravel doesn't contain the critical ingredients for the crystal formula to, to activate it. To activate the crystal formula you need piezoelectric quartz crystals, also of the correct optimal sizes which you, which you, need, to, you need to create that. You can also use, uh, if you want to make the crystal formula even better, you can use uh, other types of uh, crystals in the mix that you need to experiment and you can use you can get the obsidian uh, you can hammer the obsidian into smaller pieces the problem is you get really sharp pieces from the obsidian you can easily cut yourself it is like sharp like glass and in the past they used obsidian for weapons because it is so strong and sharp so you need to be very careful when you when you hammer the obsidian okay and what you need to do is you need to clean it and you need to you need to make this edges smoother in in the crystals that you are hammering because if you have sharp edges in the crystals you are you aren't getting a very fatiguing sound you're getting that edgy sharp sound that is annoying so I can hear something in the forest so uh, you can uh, try that yourself you can have two identical rocks of the same sizes the other one of the mix is uh, smooth has smooth edges the other one has sharp edges you're going to get the better sound with the one with the smooth edges that is round so how can you make how can you make the pieces rounder it is really tough to do you need to use a a machine for that with a motor very expensive to buy a machine that is rotating and smoothing out the rough edges of the of the stones the, the problem with this is the stone size is going to become smaller because it is cutting away the sharp edges. So you must you must have the have the stone sizes bigger than you that you intended. Okay? Because you're going to make the rough edge you're, you're going to remove the rough edges which is going to make it smaller and you see that if you do it the wrong way from the beginning by just getting the gravel sifting the gravel getting the correct size and then when you think you are finished the edges of each little tiny rock are too sharp and you want to fix that but you can't because then the grain size will become smaller when you do that. So right from the beginning, with the gravel, you want to smoothen out all of the rocks. First, before you do the sifting process. And before you measure everything and sort everything and put them into Ziploc bags, you want to get the, the gravel in a smoother rounder form first okay and that is a more advanced way to create your own open source crystal formula but the easiest way is like i said from the beginning
get gravel, sift the gravel into different, into the correct size, and then make your own crystal form. Okay, and it's going to sound uh, too edgy because you need a different, uh, more advanced process to make the, to remove the rough edges from the crystal foam. And to further improve that, liquid treatments is what is needed. You use different liquids and soak the crystal mix in a different liquid. And the time it takes, you need to experiment how long time you need to let it soak. And if you want to clean the, the mix later or not, it, it, it all depends on how it sounds like. If it sounds, if the crystal mix sounds too smooth or already, then you don't want to let it soak for that long. Okay, so all what you need to do is listen, listen to the mix every time. Every time you make a change, you listen to the mix. If something sounds wrong, if you need a blacker background in the music, you have those Ziploc bags in your storage with different colors. You can just add a few pieces into the mix. Listen again and see if that fixed the problem. Okay, so that is what you want to do if you want to create your own crystal foam. The final step is adding it into clay because just a Ziploc bag on top of your audio system is not going to really improve the sound uh, as much as it could. You want to add clay around the crystal formula and the shape of the clay plays a big part of the sound and you, you never want to blend the clay together with the crystals, never. Because then you're going to get flat and muddy sound. You need to keep separation, separation of the crystal, crystal formula and the clay. So you can make a round ball shape, put the crystal formula in, inside, seal it with clay and keep the inside loose without, without pressing uh, the crystals into the clay because the deeper you press the crystals into the clay the more two-dimensional the sound becomes and that's why with the, my best rocks on ebay you can see that the black black crystals are sticking out from the clay and they are not pressed deep inside because if you press deep inside the clay you get two-dimensional and flat sound so the crystals must protrude from the clay to get the best sound with greatest three-dimensionality. Okay, that's the last part. And also the clay, you want to use a clay with a low mass and you don't want to have any grains in the clay. That's going to reduce sound quality. You want to have a, find a clay that sounds silky smooth. And one is, there's, this is a simple way to, to make a tweak, it is with Fimo clay, super expensive, little tiny packet, it's like $4 for 57 grams. That is an oven based clay, so you just put the clay inside the Fimo, put the crystals inside the Fimo clay, seal it, put it in the oven. That's an easy way to make a tweak. And I did that in the past a decade ago and what you need to remember is you need to use as little clay as possible to the point of that that the twig is going to uh, fall apart in your hands that's the optimal amount of clay to use for the crystal formula that you barely can close the twig without it falling apart and leaking and when the if it leaks, it, you need to throw it away. Okay, because you get bad sound if, if you get if you get clay blended with, with the crystal formula. You want to you want to separate it. 
but you you don't want to have too much clay either because then you get muddy muddy dark uh, boomy sound without any detail you want to, to get the greatest clarity and transparency you want to minimize the amount of clay you use but you don't want to have no clay either you want to have the optimal amount of clay okay so that was the last step and now, now you, sh you should be finished but here the last the painting process is very complex you, you don't want to use paint don't if you use paint uh, out, around the tweak you are going to do worse on the sound unless you compensate it in a way by adding ingredients into the paint and the varnish process is also very complex and uh, but the simple simplest way is just to avoid all the painting and varnish all together and just use uh, Fimo clay and be done with it okay so what you do is you take the crystal mix that you made put it inside the clay put it inside the oven and then it is finished you don't need to do anything more than that and that is the tweak that you could buy a decade ago and now nowadays I use pro clay which has uh, 10 times less mass than Fimo clay which gives better sound and you can buy them from eBay with the click click the link in the description box or type into your browser audiophile.rocks and you will get straight to the eBay page where you can buy the tweaks and uh, if you decide to buy directly from eBay the finished tweaks you will have saved about uh, a few thousand hours of work and still get better sound okay so this is the end of the video i will see you next time rock your audio system goodbye